Welcome to the Icon Voice Network's overview of Pymphony Basic for the Alcatel-Lucent OpenTouch SMB phone system. Up to 200 users can use the Pymphony Basic software. Comes with the system out of the box. No additional charge. There are additional layers that you can add to the Pymphony Basic software, uh, including an upgrade for soft phone capability or an upgrade to Pro, Team, or Attendant. And of course, in this series of videos, we will be showing you those additional upgrades and what features are available. With Pymphony Basic, we'll start up here in the top left-hand corner. And as you can see, we have a variety of lists, but in Pymphony Basic, we have a finding name from personal list. This is a list that is generated within this software and built in. Now, in the higher level softwares of Pymphony, you can use the telephone directory. You can also search a name list from your personal information manager, like Outlook or you can also use an LDAP uh, directory for searching. But in this case, our directory is built into the software and we've actually pre-populated it with a few numbers. So as you can see, we can come in here and we can start typing someone's name and you can see that it automatically looks through the list and will pre-populate. If you wanna go ahead and ring that call, simply press the button. If you wanna disconnect the call, simply press the button. Now what you heard in the background was my desk set actually ringing another desk set. So it takes your phone off hook and makes that dial. If you drop down, you can actually see the last call that you made. You can see redial the last four or five calls that you've made. Speed dials are pre-programmed speed dials that you've already put on the system. And of course, feature keys are the pre-programmed feature keys that you've placed on the software. So all of those are shortcutted through that menu. If you want to add a key, very simple. Simply click on the plus sign, and as you can see, you get a full directory of options, and you can build them out one at a time. Now we'll go ahead and continue to move across the top bar. This is a contact field, so we can go ahead and pull contacts. This is the personal list. We'll go ahead and take a look at the personal list here, and this was uh, pre-populated earlier, and these are all external extensions, but we could put external numbers on here. There's no limitation. And, of course, we just highlight and click to dial from the application. You can see down here we get a call log of sorts. So we can see the last calls that came in. And if we want to get a little bit more, we can just go ahead and call them back with a double click. Finally, we can take a look at our call log. And our call log is designed to show us our inbound and outbound call traffic. So as you can see, name and caller ID is provided. This is a group. Uh, or a station pickup, so I have the ability to answer that call on another set. Um, I can also do group call pickups. You can see forwarding, and so it gives me a good timeline of what's been going on with my station. Over here, we can set our forwarding. So if we've got the green um, handset icon, that means our phone is active. But we can go ahead and set up forwarding, and as you can see, the far left column of buttons, this actually mir mirrors those far left buttons. We can forward to voicemail, forward to an admin, traveling, so forward to a cell phone, or put the phone into a do not disturb state. So all of those are available. You can see here we can go ahead and cancel the forwarding, and it puts us back into service. So pretty straightforward. We have a variety of forwarding options available to us through just a single click. Redial, last number redial, attendant, call the operator picking up for a specific extension, picking up for a group. So if a, a phone in a group is actually ringing, I can go ahead and grab that call through this button. Here are off-premise speed dials. Of course, then we have our internal speed dials. And here we have a transfer to voicemail. So this allows us that if we know someone's not in the office, we can go ahead and take an inbound call, transfer it off to their voicemail. And we don't have to have ringing. It's a little bit better customer service in that regard. So that's been the overview of Pymphony Basic. Of course, we can add a software license to turn this into a full-featured soft phone. And we can also upgrade this to Pymphony Pro, which gives us things like visual voicemail and a few other features. Pymphony Team, which allows me to oversee a group of phones. And then, of course, Pymphony Attendant, which allows me to manage the system. And we will show you those videos at a later date. We hope you enjoyed this quick video and overview of the Pymphony Basic software on the Alcatel-Lucent OpenTouch SMB. And if you do need any other help or assistance, please feel free to reach out to Icon Voice Networks, and we'll be happy to help you.